I was paying a lawyer and marked it down as a legal expense, some accountant, I didn't know, marked it down as a legal expense. I should be right now in Pennsylvania, in Florida, in many other states, North Carolina, Georgia, campaigning. Former President Donald Trump returning to a New York courtroom Tuesday. The search for 12 jurors and six alternates continues in his hush money trial. Once they are selected, they will be tasked with deciding whether the former president is guilty of falsifying business records to cover up a sex scandal during the 2016 presidential race. He has pled not guilty. There's no chance of a fair trial here. Remember, just because it's a jury doesn't mean that the judge can't sway them to go one way or another or make things difficult so that jury selection is impossible. On Monday, the first group of 96 prospective jurors are asked if they could be fair and impartial. More than 50 said they could not be, and they were dismissed. One of the prospects said, quote, I feel that no one is above the law, whether it's the former prez, the sitting prez, or a janitor. Another woman left the court telling an officer, quote, I just couldn't do it. By law, the president must attend the trial every day. The implications of this are far deeper for this country, because if in America we are able to just manipulate the law when convenient, and the fabric of this country is irreparably damaged. It could take two weeks to select a jury. In New York, I'm Eric Sean, Fox News.